Mr. Valdez moves in some peculiar circles for an international bon vivant. Ah, English, please. See, this is why nobody invites you out for drinks. It's just very industrious of him to be so involved in matters of consular transportation. All right, you're making it worse now. I think what you're trying to say is that lover boy in there is as full of crap as a Christmas goose. That as well. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> what a salesman. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. Uh-oh. Let's do it. We're going to see if he's missing a wrench as we try to discover what in the world is going on. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Have a look around. So before we do that, all right, something's shaking over here. I doubt it. Just a regular hammer, you know, nothing too crazy. Oh, they wouldn't even let me go grab the other tools. It's something here. Oh, we got a license plate. Okay. Not sure this means much. Yeah, maybe it doesn't mean much, but they were missing a license plate on that last car. So maybe that's just like foreshadowing. We don't know if that's the one, but hey, I guess he, he didn't he didn't act like it was, so maybe it's not. And maybe okay, now there's something else rumbling here. Okay, so we got two tools, but I mean this guy's working, so it's probably his. Hmm. Don't think this is any use okay, to us. What's this? What is that? Junk. So there's nothing there there. The controller's rumbling for no reason. Oh, he's looking at some more license plates. Look at that. It's rumbling, but I can't interact with it. Oh, here we go. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Diplomatic plates. All right, so those plates are not good enough. And I guess that's going to be it then. We'll go here because I know this was rumbling. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do. Here. Well, that one doesn't go there. How about there? Okay, that one goes there. And then we'll take this one. And this one probably goes at the top. All right. And then we got another yellow one. So all the yellow ones are accounted for. I don't remember what the color was of the one that we found near the car. I don't know if it was red or what. All right, this one could be, who knows if it's down there or here. Let's see that one. That's too small. We'll go down that's here. That's not right. All right, so they are going to be missing one, one. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Oh, ah, okay. So maybe it is a three quarter. Let's take a look at the, at the clues again. Because the wrench, I don't know if it was a three quarter. Let's see. Oh, yeah, three quarter. Three quarter wrench was missing. But I didn't know, I didn't see a color back then, but I guess it doesn't matter. So let's get up out of here. So now let's go ahead and interview this man. Where'd he go? Oh, that man disappeared, cuh. Look at that cheese. Don't tell me he ran. Oh no, he went out here to try to sell another car. Look at him. He's trying to make a sale. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. All right, association with Valdez. Wow. Association with Valdez. I think Valdez said alleged bribery. 
testifies to accepting bribes during transaction. Okay, there it is. So we have something here. If he doesn't tell us the truth, we can let that fly. Because he did say, right? He did say that this guy was bribing him to buy stuff. So there we go. So let's go ahead and get it. We got him. We got him right where we want him. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Look at that face, though. Look at that face. You got to love the faces. Look at him. He's basically frowning. He's frowning like, uh-oh. He's like, damn, cop. I hope I'm not under oath. So we're going to accuse that man with the bribe. Talking about he doesn't know who he is. You you were bribing. There was some cheese going on here. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez wouldn't wipe his shoes with me. Oh, no. He turned his head to the side with it. We about to lay it down. <laughs> Yo, we about to lay down the law, baby. Let's get it. We've talked to Valdez. He was very obliging. He told us all about the arrangement the two of you had, and now quit wasting our time. Okay. So I met Valdez in a bar. We cut a deal, and he bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. A little kickback cheese? Using government funds? That's, that's really what's going on out here with the government. They, they take our funds, they send it somewhere, and they get kickbacks. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. Oh, but you're, you're doing that thing again. Oh, yeah, he lied. <laughs> he lied. The only thing is, what can I accuse that guy with? So we're just going to go bad cop here. But obviously, he's not telling the truth. I mean, look at him. He doesn't look confident at all. He's... he's he shook. He shook. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves your head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Okay, so he just snitched on God Gatos, not Gato, but Gato. Not the El Gato that you used to uh, record. <laughs> Ah, wrench used in the auto theft. All right, let's ask him about this. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. It's even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Okay, he's he's not quite doing what he did last time. Right? He looks maybe he told the truth. I don't know. But I don't like the way that he said, oh, it just comes with the neighborhood or whatever, right? Like, come on, cuz. You were doing bribes. We know you're dirty. He might be telling the truth though, because he's not phasing. So we might have to we might have to go good cop here. Because on the other ones right here, he's kind of, he's stern. Let's get it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to let it fly. Let's see, because we haven't seen how this works yet. So I want to see how it works. Let's do it. Remove an answer. So now it goes accuse and bad cop. Okay, that's perfect. So it I, I, that's what I was thinking between bad cop and good cop, right? And it took good cop away. I'm not going to accuse because what can I accuse, right? I can't really accuse anything. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it. You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. It's cheaper than hiring returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is, they're a little light-fingered. Oh, oh. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. Oh, oh, oh. No problem. God damn that kid. I'm just an honest car salesman. Seems like you just don't know who you can trust these days. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. 
Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Wow, so that was worth it. We got the point right back. We were next to the level. You can only have four points as you or five total as you can see. You read the story in the examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color. Look what we have now. Would like to help you. Stop just ahead. Oh, I think it's this next house right here. And I'm here today to offer you Delgado. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. All right, let's get it. What the hell is this guy doing? And who are they? Did they just say something to me? Do I need to talk to these boys? Let them know? Oh, there's no option to talk to them. Oh, yeah. They were just talking trash. I think this is it, right? There goes the gold. We can come in. Oh, yeah, it's that apartment cheese again. So let's see if they have like a mailbox or something, right? So you know which apartment it is. Or maybe the guy said it. I think he did say which one it was. So let's see. Let's just go upstairs, I guess. And this is... Okay, that has a gold door. This one has a gold door too. Three or four. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on Oh, he door? said number three. Okay. Number three. See, he knew it. I knew somebody said it. We just forgot who it was. So it's number three, which is this one. Yes. Yeah. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Yo, my partner needs to get Could slapped. You come inside. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. <laughs> oh, man. We just walked in her house without a warrant and told her to sit down. So how far along are you, Anna? That's tough. All right, let's look around this house. Right. So oh, there goes a flag right there. Look at that chase. Wow. You are wrong, it's father. right there. He will be a good father. Already the stolen flag. Unless souvenirs are a dumb Anna, move. Your little one won't be seeing Papa. That's tough. And then we got a holy Bible. Not everything here is going to be relevant. So the holy Bible. Look at that. He stole something. He's got it right next to the Bible. That's tough. All right. Let's see if we could touch that. I guess we cannot. So let's see what else we can look at. We don't want to talk yet because before we talk, there's a newspaper. Can I take that newspaper? I cannot. So sometimes newspapers, you can't take them. So let's go this way. So we got a bedroom. We got a kit. I guess we'll do the kitchen first. Why not? Oh, something just rumbled. Oh, okay. Serving breakfast for two, Anna. You should have cleared up. All right, so we got breakfast plates. So maybe... And there is a note. We can't look at that note, though. So there's two people here. So she said he's not here, but there's two plates. So this dude might even be... He might be hiding under the bed. <laughs> he might be hiding under the bed, baby. What's that? Doesn't tell me anything. All right, so we have something. We can barely see what that is. So I guess that's nothing. 
And let's check over here. Nothing is rumbling. Let's see if they'll open up this door. I guess not. All right. We do have a door here with a golden handle, so we might have to go out back. But let's do it. So he's got a nice little view. And we do have a room down there. Look at that. We got a shed or something. Let's see if there's anything on this side. I guess not. No golden handle. So let's go into that shed. Let's go into the shed. But first. Okay. And this is not their backyard. So I guess they have access to the shed. So here we go. We got. Okay, we got some tires. Look at that cheese. Let's see if it rumbles. It does. Oh, there it is. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Okay, so we got two wheels out here. And is there anything else in this little shed? Okay, it's rumbling over here. What's that? A tool? Nope. Nothing that we need. This is rumbling too. We got more tools. We got hella tools. Look at this cheese. Seems irrelevant. All right, so we'll drop that. Well, how about this? Probably all of this is nothing. No. And there's only two that we can look at. So that's not it. Oh, we got, look at that. We got a black license plate. So let's try the black one. Diplomatic license plates. Look at that chase. All right. So all the other license plates that we've seen so far have been yellow. So we know that that's probably it. This isn't what we're looking for. So I guess that might have been what we needed. Oh, there goes that sound. I think we got all clues. The sound just triggered to let us know that we did good detective work. So now we're ready to go interview and she's lying. We know she's lying, so we might have to let it fly. You. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Motive for the auto theft. What is the motive? Let's take a look real quick. So we've got because we know that he stole it. But why did he steal it? That's the question. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Oh. He has his honor. Oh, she looks mad. She looks real mad. So that anger, that might be truth, right? Because she's not, she, she's very stern. She's turning her head a little bit, but she's very confident and mad. I think she, she could be telling the truth. I, I think his honor, Anna. He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. He no longer respects this man, Dewey. Ooh. He took the car to show this that he is a man. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. That's tough. Holy moly. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Aha! Got her leaning. See that? That looks different. See that? The first question, she didn't do all this. She wasn't looking. She was very confident, very stern. Now she's, you know, swallowing. Look at that. She just swallowed and she's looking. She's nervous. So now it's time to tell her it's time to let it fly. So let, let's go to the plates because I think the plates are going to be good. We'll accuse. You keep lying to me and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. All right. So we're going to talk about these plates. If he hasn't come home, why you got two plates? All right. See, you just snitched on yourself. Because we know that you didn't eat those two plates. You would have had this, the two plates in the same seating spot. Somebody's been here. All right. Somebody's been here. Is somebody else clapping cheats? 
Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. All right, so there we go. Diplomatic place recovered. So this guy was trying to get revenge for that cheese. So he stole it, right? He took the flag. Good Mike. She hasn't really been honest at all, so. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> she's lying. Look at that cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, she's feisty with it. Look at it. She knows she messed up. Oh, yeah. See, that's why you got to wait. You got to just wait to see this reaction. She's lying. We got to go bad cop because we don't have no other evidence to tie her to it. But we're going bad cop. Let's get it. Stank face. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on first in Santa Fe. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. Interesting. So we'll put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Right, so now we know that there was some cheese, right? Some inappropriate behavior going on. So getting some revenge, and then now we're going to go to some street racing. This story is going all over the place. I like it. Look at the feet. Oh, it's a perfect, it's a perfect placement. That is the best free throw line dunk yet. I'm not on the line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Off vert, no dribble, just caught it and went. Just caught it and let it fly. 